Hey guys, back with another video, and today I want to show you how I configure Flight Plan Go with X-Plane 11. One of our subscribers asked for this, and I figured I would put this together for you, because I have seen this question before, and I didn't see anything else on YouTube. So in any event, first you need to go to flightfltplan.com, sign up for a free account. It's totally free. It's not like some of the other uh, apps where you have to pay for it. It's absolutely free, okay? So make sure you sign up for that. And then you go to the so the App Store on, on the iPad. You can see my iPad on the left here. And you download the Flight Plan Go app for iPad. I'm going to load that up right now. And there it is, the Flight Plan Go plan. And you can see I'm here at uh, San Luis Airport uh, singing my uh, Bambino Games C-172. And there's the, let me show you the tower view here. There we go. There we are from the tower. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to configure this. It's very simple. Now, first, you've got to make sure your iPad is on the same Wi-Fi network as your as X-Plane 11, okay? Because the iPad communicates via your router, via Wi-Fi to X-Plane 11 to make all this magic happen, okay? And it's pretty simple as long as you're doing that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your settings, go to network. You can see here where it says uh, for flight, Wing X Pro, Flight Plan Go, or Sky Demon. Again, this is X Plane 11. You can check either one of these boxes. I always just I just check broadcast to all copies. You can see uh, Flight Plan Go is included in there, and it says just sh it just shows you right there all devices on network running for Flight Wing Plan. Blah blah blah. Okay, it will be connected. So then you just say done, and now you go to your external on the Flight Plan Go app on your iPad, and you scroll down where it says X Plane. You click that. And you'll see this little connected turn green, and that means you're connected to X Plane. Okay, pretty simple. Now, if we go to airports, okay, and if we look at the airport diagram, you can see right there that little blue plane cir turning around here with the red circle. That's me, and that's where I am on the tarmac. Okay, right next to the tower. Pretty cool, right? So now, what I can do is you watch as I taxi. Let me get back into the cockpit here, just so I don't crash into anything. And here we go. So we're going to taxi. And you'll watch. You can see me moving on the map. And that's what we all want, right? That moving map. Okay. So I'm just going to taxi over to an airport, uh, a runway here, take off real quick, and show you what it looks like on the sectional map. You can see it's got me taxiing to 29. I could hold short right here. It shows me holding short. And I pick up. I don't need a lot of runway. I'm going to do a short takeoff here. But you can see I'm just following the, the yellow line. And it's got me. Now you can also turn breadcrumbs on. I have breadcrumbs off for this demonstration. So that would show like a green line behind you. So then you see me, show, it'll show me lined up on the runway. Okay. And then if I go to the sectional chart, okay, let me go to the map. If I do this and I center myself, you can see there I am right at San Luis Airport, okay, getting ready to take off. So let me just close this. And it's got, now you have, to, you have two, feet, two uh, capabilities here. You can have it centered, which means it'll just keep moving the map and, all, and the plane will stay in the center. Or you can hit this little button in the lower right-hand corner right down here. I'll turn that off, and then the plane will move but the map won't, so you have to keep moving the map. So for, for this example, we'll just keep it on centered like that. Now watch as I do a takeoff. Let me get my flaps going here. We'll just rev up here. And let go of the brakes. Little right rudder. And zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see me moving. Get up to speed and rotate. And you can see me moving on the map. And that's how you set up Flight Plan Go with X-Plane 11. Very simple. I hope this was helpful, guys. Please hit the like button if you like what you saw today. And don't forget to subscribe to Bambino Games for more X-Plane 11 videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and safe flight.